This Wednesday marks the third and last day that Marine Le Pen, the figurehead of France's far-right National Rally Party, took the stand in a long-awaited trial on charges of embezzling EU funds. Le Pen and more than 20 uh, other senior party officials are currently standing trial at the Paris Criminal Court uh, right behind me for allegedly misappropriating millions of euros uh, intended to pay EU parliamentary assistance. Instead, Le Pen and her co-defendants are accused of paying staff who worked directly uh, for her party in France and who rarely even set foot in Brussels or had any sort of role between 2004 and 2016, therefore violating EU regulation. During these three days, uh, Marine Le Pen took the stand and she was quite combative, even uh, accusing the judge of being biased towards her. Le Pen, who was an MEP for more than 12 years, maintained her innocence and said that it's not up to the EU Parliament uh, to decide how these assistants should be employed. And the far-right leader is taking quite a big uh, risk with these sort of argument because if found guilty, Le Pen and her co-defendants face up to 10 years in prison and fines of up to 1 million euros each. And most importantly, it could lead to her ineligibility to even run for office, a scenario that could be uh, disastrous for Le Pen's uh, plans for the 2027 presidential election, her fourth and arguably uh, most promising attempt. And this trial uh, is scheduled to last until the end of November. Sophia Katzenkova reporting from Paris for Euronews.